Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm doing again a small series on toner and bleach. So make sure you watch my previous videos if you guys want some information. By the way, I'm not a professional hairstylist, you guys. I'll always forget to mention. Um, but uh, I've been dyeing my hair for five years. I finally perfected my formula and um, I'm comfortable making videos and sh you know just showing you guys my results so uh, this is like more of a you know a side note basically <laughs> so if you have um if you watch i mean i recommend you watching videos from professionals like el bangs there's brad mondo i mean there's so many professional hairstylists here that create videos specifically on all those questions we all have when we start uh dyeing our hair and wanting to go blonde so i definitely recommend you guys checking them out that's how i learned and that's how i perfected my formula by watching these professionals when i first started i used a lot of generic products like color brilliance uh, by Ion, Wella, and um, I was able to transition and discover, you know, professional brands like Redken. I mean, Redken, you can find it at a drugstore, but like their hair dyes, you won't find them on the shelves of Walmart. So, and I thought I would test the famous Wella Color Charm toners and <clears throat> compare them to the professional Brand. I mean these are old I hope they're gonna destroy my hair because I've used them before I have opened them and they've been in this box for maybe a year and a half I went online pulled out both of Wella and Redken's uh, toner chart and I kind of compared what color was similar to you know which so for me, Tatine is a very similar color to the 9P uh, Redken. And for the T11, which is the lightest beige blonde, is similar to the 9N, which is Cafe Au Lait from Redken. So I'm going to be mixing the T18 and T11 together and I'll apply it on this side. And I'll mix 9P, 9N on my right side your left for the wella toners i have to mix it in with 20 volume developer as it says here it is two parts developer to one part the wella toner and the redken shades of q glosses have to be mixed with um the processing solution and the ratio is one part um toner to one part processing solution so i'm going to wet my hair i'm gonna have two different bowls and then i'll tone my hair i'm going i'm planning on leaving these toners maybe 10 minutes uh i'll be checking them in and i'm gonna mainly focus that on the highlighted areas i won't be touching the roots
Alright guys, I am back. I have some footage you guys. So the before and after. I don't know if I see a huge difference. There's definitely a more... My, my highlights look more in the... Like a sandy color than before. But... So as you guys remember, I put the Wella on my left side, your right. And the Redken Shades Q on my right, your left. And this is basically what I got. I don't see a huge difference which is kind of mind-blowing i was kind of not looking forward on applying the wella toner just because from what i remember i never got the exact tone that i wanted when i was using those but i have to say you guys that it looks pretty similar to me don't you guys find um, it's definitely more like a sandy color. Um, I could apply that same toner on my highlights, on my highlights, on my extensions. I don't know if I, because I kind of like the color that it gave me. So it goes to show you guys, actually, for me, it really revealed that Wella is not that bad. I mean, it, it works. It's just that it's about knowing what shades you have to um, buy, what, what shades you have to apply to get the tone that you want. But I think the magic happens in the bleaching process and I always say that um, because toner is not going to remove any uh, brass off your hair. So definitely make sure that when you do your highlights or when you bleach your hair, you have it at the tone that you want. So the toner will just be that finishing a touch but don't rely on the toner to get the hair that you desire the color that you desire so uh, but like I said right now for me it actually looks they both look pretty similar to me yeah which is kind of I don't know what to think I don't know what, what to say honestly I was actually very surprised at the results but as always you guys i will link the products that i used down in the description box i ended up putting leaving the toner on for five minutes on both sides um i was like i said i was planning on leaving it longer but as i was massaging it through my hair i kind of saw that it was getting to where i wanted it and so i decided to wash it off beforehand so it was a cool experiment i'm glad i did but i think i'll still stick to my redken shades q um redken shades q also has some good properties um for the overlook of your hair it really hydrates also it's actually it makes your hair look healthier than um uh, so that's something i always forget to mention so yeah so i guess that's it for today's video thank you so much for watching you guys as always take care and i hope to see you in my next video Mwah.